Hi there folks, welcome to this uh, video walkthrough series of making the Battleship game. As you can see here is a quick demonstration of the game that we're going to make. We have the easy computer and we have the hard computer. The easy computer basically will just select uh, squares at random. Whether he hits your ship or not, it'll still the following selection will still be at random. Whereas the hard computer is set that he will select squares at random. But if he makes a choice on the squares that hits one of your ships, he will then calculate all the, the, the surrounding squares that are connected to that square and it will first go through those and it will basically destroy your ship before returning to selecting squares at random. Um, I'll let me give you a quick demonstration of this. Uh, if we go into the we'll select the hard computer. Right, once we have the hard computer running, we have you can see our, our player grid, we have the computer's player grid. We have our ships, you can select them and put them onto the game grid yourself. Uh, you can rotate them. You'll see you cannot put a ship on top of another ship. Um, you can randomize your selection already. The computer player has already randomized his ships are already selected on the on the screen. All you have to do is click the deploy button. Once you deploy it, the game works straight forward. Uh, it's your turn first, so you pick a square. Oh, lucky us, that was a hit. The computer will randomly select a square, then your turn again, oh, this. then the computer will randomly select, then you will go, now the computer, then you, then the computer, then you, then the computer. Right. See now the, the computer has hit your ship. So his next selections will then be to all the blocks to the right that are connected to the sh to, to the first one that he was hit, and all the ship blocks to the left that are, that contain the ship. All right, so we'll just go through it. Oh, there's a lucky hit there. Uh, you'll see the ship will systematically the, the computer will now systematically destroy that ship. There we go. Right now, the computer will randomly select a new block. It was a mess, lucky us. Okay, now we've I've created a little tip syndrome. Here's a radar button. Um, so if you keep making misses and need a little bit of help, the radar will open up a scanner and it will find there's a blip there. So that's a ship. There we go. There we go. And then the whole so far. Oh, okay. Oh, he's got my carrier. Right, this should be the end of it. There we go, the player has won. And then obviously you can restart and it will quit. Okay. So yeah, that's the game. That's what we're going to be making in this video series. And I hope you follow along and I hope you enjoy it. All right. You can see I've got my main game set up, my main file set up already. All my pictures and images are already loaded into directories on the side here. Images, background. All of these files you're able to get on the GitHub link in the description. Um, so let's get cracking. So the first thing we're going to do, of course, is we're going to import the Pygame module, import the Pygame. And then once we've done that from the import module, we're going to initialize the Pygame module. Okay, initialize the Pygame module. And then we're going to go down to our game settings and variables. We're going to create our screen width, which is going to be 1260, our screen height, which is going to be 960. And we're going to go down to our plugin display initialization, we're going to call it game screen. We 
application is going to be on display dot set mode. And the size will be screen width and screen height. Okay, and then we'll not going to change that. Again, dot display dot set caption to change the, the window name. We're going to make it uh, Battleship. Okay. Once we've got that, we're going to move down to our bottom here of our main game loop. We're going to create a variable called run game, which is equal to true. We're going to create our main game loop, which will be while run game is true. The game loop must start. We need to find a way to end the loop. So, in order to do that, we need to create an event handler for event in our game. If event dot type is equal to game dot quit, change the run game variable to false. That will end the game loop. Over here, target dot display dot update. Yeah. And while we're here, line number fifty, we're going to say game dot quit. Right. We can run that up. Just to make sure everything's written correctly. Our game window should pop up. That'll ship. That's correct. So there's our caption, black screen because we're also not making any pictures yet. And if I hit the close button, it should escape. And there, that's it. it. Does everything that's supposed to do so far.